Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is another little experiment, uh, testing out some products and some colors to see what sort of results it will bring. Uh, as you can see, this is a previously loved canvas. It's a pretty little painting. Um, this is on a 14 by 14 inch square canvas, and I'm using this as a tester. As you can see, I'm layering a small paper cup and I'm going to flood my canvas with white house paint mixed with Floetrol and water. And it's um, not a terribly thin mixture. Like it will tilt and spread, but not uh, extremely fluid. Pulling out some little gifts that I find sometimes in my paint. What I'm going to do is one of my favorites. It's a floating cup technique. And of course, that's why I'm using a paper cup. It's easier to poke a hole in the bottom. So you give it a little flip, let it sit a second or two, and then take a sharp wooden skewer and poke a hole. And that releases the suction and allows the paint to come out onto the canvas. I'm gonna give it a little torch because this was freshly mixed house paint and it has a few bubbles in it and I want the bubbles to pop now and not after I've got the other paints on the canvas. That's what I call those little freckles and they can be annoying in your finished piece if you didn't want little white spots. I really do love the tilting and watching the layers of paint, the cells and the reactions that I'm getting here. Uh, once I've completely tilted the white base coat off the canvas, I will continue to work with these paints. Um, the tilting and stretching of the paints is giving me the effects that I was looking for. And so I'm quite pleased with this little experiment. I'm really loving how these colors are playing together. Uh, I used a lime green metallic that is a discontinued uh, Art Minds DIY called Candy Apple, and it just gives everything a little pop. I've also used an olive green pearl made by Arteza, and to it I added a little bit of black to give it some richness. And those two colors together are really uh, doing some wonderful things. I've also got copper and gold and black in this piece.
From here, it's a matter of fiddling with composition. As you can see, when I'm tilting this canvas, there's a bit too much paint here. Uh, it shouldn't move that quickly. I don't want to leave that much paint. So I'm going to continue tilting and let a little of this paint go. I'm really loving the pearl effect, the lacing and the cells that are, sh are showing up as I stretch the paints out. And that was the result I was hoping for in this experiment. And this is a test piece for a collaboration I'm doing very shortly with my good friend Sarah Mack. And she has used this combination and has done a beautiful painting. And I'm going to tackle my piece for the collab and see if I can't make magic happen. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. Yes, there's no way around it. There needs to be some paint uh, tilted off this canvas. And uh, I like the composition the way it is. I know I could work with it, but it, you just can't leave that much paint on. So I'm going to tilt off some, and then I tilt a little bit more. I'm stretching the paint back, hoping to uh, leave some paint to fill in that area that I've just had to uh, pour paint across. So I find tilting it back and forth, it deposits some paint, and then I can stretch out that area of green that I'm trying to use as sort of the focal point.
And so I'm still tilting this and trying to position the paint in a way that I like. Uh, and I do a few smears. And I, I go, I walk away for a while and I look at the video that I've taken of the painting to see what looks necessary. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of white negative space, which is fine but it needs a little something. Uh, that centerpiece is the focal point, but it's quite heavy and surrounded by uh, so much white. So I decide I'm gonna go in and do a couple of great big schmears just to bring the balance in, in my mind. It's uh, balancing the composition. So I'm going to use the Black Amsterdam formula, which is one part Amsterdam Oxide Black to four parts U.S. Floetrol. And I take my offset spatula or my pie server. I put, I apply a little of the black to the uh, bottom side of it and I do a great big schmear, which is just a, a very smooth on the surface wipe which the black creates this wonderful lacing. And you're going to see the black looks quite noticeable right now, but by the time I'm finished with it, that all fills up with wonderful cells. And uh, it's just what I needed to extend that focal area to the right of the green. Um, I think it was a good move. Again, as I say, you have to be brave. You have to take a chance to make something better. And actually it did work in this, in my opinion, it worked to uh, create a little more visual interest. Another thing I find very helpful is to rotate the canvas and look at it from different angles. And that changes the perspective you can look at it freshly you can see really if there's something more missing and in this case i decide to add one more little schmear of the black amsterdam formula just through the uh the bit of that that green area and you'll see it starts to lace up as i stretch it and again Look at your piece, add a little here, take something out over there. Uh, it's always good to look at it with a critical eye, see what looks in balance and what looks out of balance. And here's my favorite part. I love looking at the details and the small sections and the texture in the paint, uh, that magical chemical reaction that is caused by the uh, different densities of paint and how they behave together. Really very pleased with this piece and pleased with the experiment and uh, will be letting you know exactly what I did differently to create this one. Anyway, thank you very much for coming along. If you haven't subscribed, I really would appreciate if you would. I'm inching up to 10,000 viewers. It's slow and steady. Um, I have a lot of comments to catch up on because you all have been far too kind. And um, I, I'm overwhelmed when I read them. Uh, I really do appreciate all the wonderful uh, things that you say. So, as I always say, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. It certainly makes my day. Uh, I paint every single day and I spend a great deal of time thinking about what I'm going to do before I paint. Anyway, thanks again for coming along. There's a photo of the finished piece at the very end 
And uh, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.